Start with a six by six chart where each column denotes one of the five houses from left to right. Then add rows to denote the color of the house, the nationality of the homeowner, the brand of chocolate preferred, the beverage of choice, and the type of pets that reside at each household. Now, enter the information from clues one to four into the chart. According to clue four, since the greenhouse is just to the left of the white house, the greenhouse cannot be the house furthest to the right and the white house cannot be furthest to the left. Now enter the information from clues five to eight into the chart. According to clue five, the owner of the greenhouse drinks coffee. Since the house furthest to the right cannot be green, then its owner does not drink coffee. Now, enter the information from clues 9 to 11 into the chart. Now, enter the information from clues 12 to 15 into the chart. From clue 14, the second house from the left must be blue, since this is the only house next to the Norwegian. Clue 4 tells you that the greenhouse and the white house are side by side and that the greenhouse must be to the left of the white house. You already know that the second house is blue. So, the greenhouse cannot be one of the first two houses from the left. You also learned from Clue 5 that the owner of the greenhouse drinks coffee. So, the greenhouse cannot be the center house where the homeowner drinks milk. That means the greenhouse is the fourth house from the left and the white house is fifth house from the left. Also from clue five, you know that the owner of the greenhouse drinks coffee. Since from clue one, the Brit lives in the red house, the red house must be the third house from the left or the center house because it was established that the Norwegian lives in the first house. Therefore, by elimination, the first house from the left is yellow. As you can see, the house color row is now complete. From clue 7, the Norwegian prefers Choco level. From clue 11, the owner of the horse is in the second house. What does the person living in the first house drink? Not milk or coffee since those are the beverages of choice in the third and fourth houses. It cannot be tea, because according to clue three, the Dane drinks tea, not the Norwegian. It cannot be juice either, because according to clue 12, the owner who eats Dagoba Eclipse chocolate drinks juice. The owner of the first house eats Choco Level chocolate. Therefore, the first house owner must drink water. Now that you know who drinks the water, you can determine from clue 15 that the owner of the blue house prefers green and black's chocolates. According to clue 12, the owner who eats green and black's chocolate does not drink juice. So by elimination, the owner of the blue house must prefer tea and the owner of the white house must prefer juice and Dagoba Eclipse chocolate. Also from clue three, the Dane must live in the blue house. Now the beverage row is completed. Since the person in the White House prefers Dagoba Eclipse chocolate, from clue 13 you can deduce that the German, who eats Scharfenberger chocolate, must reside in the greenhouse. By process of elimination, the Swede must live in the White House and the Brit prefers Valrhona chocolates. Now, the nationality and chocolate rows are complete. From clue two, the Swede raises dogs. From clue six, the Brit has birds as pets. From clue 10, the person who keeps cats lives next to the owner who prefers green and black's chocolate. Since the Brit, who raises birds, 
also lives next to the person who prefers green and black's chocolate, the Norwegian must be the one who keeps cats. So, by process of elimination, the greenhouse must have fish. Now the chart is complete. As you can see, it is the German in the greenhouse who owns the pet fish.